My background is more fashion, so what I've been leading to that to make an event which is entertainment, which is something which is, uh, uh, has the flair of the Grammy Awards, where there is a red carpet, where there is a beautiful gown, where there is beautiful people coming. And uh, it, it became like a high profile event, event every year for the Japan, Japan like celebrities and Japan top knock. Uh, I turn the, the, the event in from one night event to a one year a one year event. It means that all the finalists when they apply, they have five to seven months training. The training we give them in terms of uh, uh, classes in different backgrounds, it can be dietetic, how to eat, how to take care of themselves, how to walk, how to pose, how to answer a question, how to introduce themselves. I mean, this is something that, you know, Japanese people, they love to go to school. They pay ton of money for that. And this, and what we're doing, we're giving them all this for free. So even if they don't basically become number one, they will have had like an incredible like woman, like a um, scholarship that will help them anyway in their life in the future. You know, we need more Japanese women who is strong, who has, you know, who can say, or who's more opinionated. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So that's what we need. So, and uh, I love to be the leader of that. But I think the model is just a uh, but they're beautiful, but they don't talk, right? But we have to talk, we have to perform, we have to do also modeling stuff. So I think this is more interesting. あの我々その日本のブランドで世界へこう羽ばたこうということで今バッケージュリーをやってますねで同じ思いをそのジャパンビューティーいわゆるその日本の女性の美しさっていうものを世界へこう羽ばたいてもらおうということで我々がその世界ブランドになるということとそのシンクロしてるんですね考え方が。そりゃそうだよね。うんそうですね。女性が高さは必要かな。性が高いは必要。背の高さは僕はあまり関係ないと思う。いや、日本もそうだったと思いますよ。ミスユニバースというものは、いわゆるダサいというか、古いというイメージがあった。
わけですねこれは。そのイメージをいわゆるイネスと一緒にブレイクしていこうとミス・ユニバースというものが本当にその女性を輝かせるための場面であってほしいとか世界で日本の女性も一緒にそのなんだろうね、同じものを見て喜んだり悲しんだりっていうようなそういうようなステージを作っていこうとか